Here is a 3D model or drawing of a transition piece that goes from a rectangular shape to a smaller square shape and the square shape is uh, turned at a 45 degree angle so let's have a look at that right i'm going to answer this question which is on page 84 so just follow me first of all i'm going to determine true lengths true length in this case will be the true length of ba that's the true length of ba and we can then label the answer which is the true length of cd follow the construction D is moved to the left. There's the true length of CD. Label your answer. Next one I'm going to do is the true length of CA. So I will put my compass on C, open it to point A. That's the construction. HB, this length, top view. HB, true length, drop to horizontal. Drop to this point, H, to the left, from that point to point B, that's the true length of HB. In this case, I want to determine the true length of GH, GH, not BH. So what's the construction? Because it's almost exactly the same as HB. GH, construction, straight down. Here we go again, on the same line. But this time I join G with that point which is my true length so that gh is the true length right so take note that fg if you draw that fg it is on a 45 degree line and on the same height as that previous one which was gh so gh and fg should have therefore the same length that's why i'm coloring in this fg the same as gh they will have the same length I repeat, GH and FG, because of a 45 degree, that distance and that distance is the same. They will therefore have the same length. I just want to bring something to your, atten your attention. I've drawn a flip side or a back side of this drawing here. Okay, so you will note that if I refer to my top view, which is the back side here, that GF is blue, or G at the bottom, F is blue, and that FE, FE is the yellow one. So you can see there is a, a line that it runs at an angle. So that line there, I've drawn that one now, which is actually the line at the back and not in front. So it's not line CA. Just take note of that. But what I want also for you guys to check out is that this line EF, or I've just labeled it E, this line, here, from point F to point E, is already a true length because EF is parallel to the XY line. Therefore, EF is a true length. So I do not need to draw on construction. So we already have a true length. We could have done the same with this line FG. That's also a line that's parallel to the XY line and therefore this line FG would have been a true length. The last of the true lengths to be determined is ED. You can see this one, it's a tan color. ED, that needs to be done. So here we go about it. It is our first construction, second construction, and the true length. So from this point to that point, that gives me the true length. I've now determined by means of construction all true lengths. And we can now measure them and label them. I uh, will uh, suggest that you label them as you go about it. Don't label them all at the end because you can become confused of all the constructions. I'm not going to explain every move and step that I make here. I'm just going to draw this drawing. So follow the drawing. All the sizes are given.